everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel getassist.net where I talk about email services, social media, troubleshooting and latest trends. Today's video is going to be about creating a personal Facebook account both with and without using your phone number. So it is going to be a step by step tutorial and I will also share some important tips to secure your Facebook account to not get it hacked anytime. So now let's just begin with the video. To start creating a new Facebook account, first of all, you have to go to the official website that is facebook.com. And then here uh, on the home page, you will see the option to create a new account. Click on that. Now here you have to fill up this, this sign up form with your personal information. All right. So first of all, you have to enter your first name and then your last name. After that, you have to enter either your mobile number or email address. So you have to enter at least one thing. All right. So to create a new Facebook account, you can also create a new Gmail address. All right. You, a new email address or you can simply use your mobile number. But in case you don't want to enter your mobile number at this stage, you can just skip it and you can use your email address. But you must have at least one of these things. All right. So here I'm going to enter my email address. So yeah, make sure to enter the genuine information as Facebook don't let you create fake accounts. Even if you are able to create a fake account, Facebook will delete that in future or it might disable that fake account. All right. So make sure to use the genuine information, your real name so that whenever you get in trouble, you can provide them your official ID and you can easily get your account back. So it is important to use your real information, your real email address and your phone number as well as your, your first and last name. So here you have to re-enter the email address and then you have to create a new password for your Facebook account. So make sure to use a unique password and we can use a combination of letters and numbers. After that, you have to enter your date of birth. All right. So it is also mandatory. So that they can check if you are above 18 or not. That's the main motive of entering the date. So make sure you enter the real date of birth as you may have to provide them a document in future. Then select your gender and simply click on sign up. So yeah, now you here at this point, you have to enter the code from your email. So as I entered my email address, I will receive the code on my email. If you have entered your mobile number, you will get the code on that. All right. So now I will log into my email address where I have received the code. All right. So here is the email from Gmail. I have the re I have received the code right here. You can see 10346. So I will enter it here. It may take some time for you to receive the code. So have some patience and you can wait at least three to five minutes to get the code. All right. Sometimes you receive it quickly, but sometimes it takes time. So make sure to have patience and not go crazy. All right. And if you don't receive any code for like 10 minutes, you can simply use this option send email again to get the code again all right here you can also update your contact info like if you think your email address is incorrect you can simply enter the correct email address so make sure to not enter the wrong email address as it can uh, it may prove you know uh, difficult to correct it in the future so here you can simply correct your email and then click on continue after entering the code so yeah, my account has been created. You will use this email address to log in. Click OK. So yeah, my new Facebook account is ready as you can see on the screen. Here as you can see the notification that remember password. Next time you log in on this browser, just click your profile picture instead of typing a password. 
So if you want to use the same browser every time, if you have a computer and you use the same computer to use Facebook every time, you can use this option to remember the password, all right? So that you don't have to enter the password every time you want to log into your Facebook account. But this may also make you forget your password. So make sure to note your password somewhere, all right, and your email address and then you can use this option but don't use this option if you are not using your own device all right so i am not using this option not now so yeah this is my news feed as you can see and here is my profile so i can simply tap on it and here from here i can go to my facebook profile or i can go to settings and privacy so let's see what settings we have to use to keep our account secure again go to settings so yeah as you can see every information right here my username has been created my facebook username my email address so if you want you can use the edit option to edit the information all right if you want to change your email address you can simply click on edit and here you can change the email address or you can add one more email address or mobile number so you can add as many email address you want to secure your facebook account so whenever it gets hacked or you don't remember the password you can simply use that email address to reset it all right and this is the username that you can also edit if you want to set up a username but for that your account needs to be verified and how you can get your account verified by entering your mobile number all right so for that you have to use your mobile number all right let's move on to the second section that is security and login so here you can check all your login activities and from the same section you can change your password whenever you want so you simply have to click on edit to change your password you can also save your login information on the browsers and devices that you use every day all right and the next important thing is to use two factor authentication to keep your account secure so you can activate this method and then whenever you will log in to your facebook account on a new device you have to enter a code so in case if someone else will try to log into your account they will also have to enter the code all right here you can review a list of devices on which you won't have to use a login code so you can also save your known devices all right so as it is my new account so i don't have any registered devices right now moving on here you can use app password use special passwords to log into your apps instead of using your facebook password or login codes so if you are using any app through facebook you can use these app passwords all right now here you can get alerts about unrecognized logins so simply click edit and make sure to enable the notifications for everything and receive email alerts this is very important all right so pay attention that you have to enable notification to receive email alerts so that whenever someone will try to change your password you will receive the email all right and then you can take action immediately after that you can click on save changes for that you have to enter your password to proceed so yeah i have turned on my login alerts and i have also received this message from facebook that i will read later on now next is you can choose three to five friends to contact whenever you get logged out from facebook but as this is my new account so first of all i will have to add some friends all right so yeah that's how you can keep your facebook account secure all right all right now let's move back to the profile and uh, let's see what else we can do now on your profile as you can see currently I don't have any profile picture so here you can simply upload your profile picture so that people can recognize you and add you as a friend alright similarly you can also add a cover picture right here 
so you can just select your photo any or you can upload your photo as well all right so yeah that's how it goes you can change your profile picture as many times as you want and same goes for cover picture now here you can simply uh, fill this about section if you want people to know more about you all right so you can add your work and education you can add your places you have lived in and you can add your contact and basic info your family and relationships if you have your like family on facebook you can add them and you can then add them as your family all right here you can also uh, add some music and films that you like watching so there are so many things that you can do on your facebook profile all right so now this is the friends section when you will add your friends they will show up here and using this edit privacy option you can hide your friend list if you want so i will set it to uh, only me or you can also set it to friends similarly you can also select the privacy for your following and for followers as well all right so if you don't want to keep the if you want to keep your information private you can select only me and yeah that, done so under contact and basic info you will see your email address so you can also select its privacy to friends or if you want you can keep it hidden your email all right and don't forget to click on save now here you can also edit privacy for your gender if you want to show it on your timeline or not and then you can also hide your date of birth if you want all right so here i'm going to hide my date of birth all right and yeah click on save so similarly you can edit the privacy of everything you do on facebook you can even set the privacy for your facebook profile in the same way all right so that was all about creating a new facebook account for personal use if this video was helpful to you you can give it a like and also subscribe for more such informational videos that i post every day on my channel i have also covered several other topics regarding facebook through my videos so you can check that out as well and for now i will take a leave we'll see you the next time